What's going on, y'all? I'm a little bit stressed out. It's just why and how did some of this art make it past somebody's approval? Today, we're going to get into the poorly done, the ugly, and the downright monstrosities that somehow made it through somebody's approval on these professional productions. You know what? Just come here. Let me show you. Come with me. Alright y'all, so we're going to start off with something light. Let's talk about Bob's Burgers. Now I understand a lot of this is character design choices, but I always personally thought that they're ugly. I mean, look at the dad. He has no chin. You know what I'm saying? He has no shoulders. He's built like a mudslide. You look over to the mother. She's built like a, a bag of beans. And you know, everybody has these uh, pool noodle arms. It's just weird looking to me. So I've never really been attracted to the look of the show. It's, uh, you know, if you like it, you like it. It's some stylistic choices that I just think are just ugly to me. So let's see what next. Next we got As Told by Ginger. Now, I remember watching this show a lot back in the day. Um, this was by a popular studio you guys might recognize. Um, you know, uh, Klasky Supo K -K 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 Supo. <laughs> Ink. Anyway, that thing that you always grew up seeing. So, you know, the show is weird looking to me. These characters have these oblong faces. These, um, you know, their eyes are like, they look like little beetles or something like that. Like they got these six legs. Like it just look like just roaches crawling on a, on a, on a brown egg. You know, one of those bougie eggs you get from the store. And on top of that, they talk from their chins. So I always found that really awkward. And you know, the characters are just ugly. Let's keep it real. You know, shout out to that studio that put together Rugrats, Wild Thornberries, Rocket Power, you know, all those shows from the ninth or from the nineties to two thousands that made up our childhood. But you know, it's ugly. Next, we gonna go over to um, the anime world. Now, this is near and dear to me because this is Berserk. This is one of my favorite series, but this this was an adaptation they did in 2017 and you know it just they they missed the ball on here or they missed the the mark on here like look at this is he is he chucky from you know whatever the very first chucky movie he looks like animatronics his jaw is moving his neck is robotic you know the character models are hideous uh jesus christ i mean is is where does where do you want to start here i mean like it's just the colors are too bright and saturated it just doesn't match you know it's just i love berserk dearly and i did watch this i'll admit i watched it a hundred times probably but it's just ugly like i just really wish they would have got that castlevania treatment and uh let's see next we're gonna go over to video games now you guys might not know this but mega man that that classic blue character you all grew up knowing this is the first mega man box art you know it's just it's so much wrong with this it's it looks like i probably could have did better than this when i was i don't know 10 years old or so um first of all he has these bulbous thighs like i don't know if you guys seen those people that inject them their muscles with synthol but he has these fat ass thighs <laughs> And then the perspective on like his helmet is like off to the side. Uh, he has like a severe um, uh, sunburn on his face. He has a gun. Mega Man doesn't have a gun. Where do, where does the yellow come from? And what are all these um, corn pops? <laughs> Giant corn pops just hanging out in the back. And then he has these accordion arms. You know what I'm saying? They just they did Mega Man wrong on that first one. And you know, uh, later box arts they had issues as well, but this was probably the most egregious offender. Like, it's just so much wrong with this. And now we have a special one. Um, you guys may not have know, known about this. I didn't know about it at the time. Um, in 2002, um, in 2000, <laughs> in 2002. <laughs> I'm sorry. In 2002, Cartoon Network had a show called Rap City Street Kids. Now, this show had some heavy hitter, 
heavy hitter voice actors going on. I mean, if you look at the IMDb of some of these people, it's like, you know, it, look at this. It, it's just so extensive. You got Toy Story multiple times, all type of Final Fantasy. You got Toy Story, Little Mermaid, Wreck-It Ralph. These are some of the voice actors. And based on this IMDb, you would never guess that this is the show. You know, from the character models to the animation to the, the flat tree in the foreground. You know, it's just like... <laughs> To think that this aired on TV is insane to me and apparently after it aired Cartoon Network never aired it again and they just basically tried to bury it because like you know it's just an embarrassment let's you know I mean look at the clip need I say more this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire life it, it, it's a Christmas special so every Christmas I come back and I just get a big hearty laugh and like <laughs> Oh my god, this is so hideous, you know. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something, you know. Um, that last one nearly took me out of this life. Like, it's hideous. But, you know, I hope you liked it. Uh, speaking of like, like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and stick around for a little time-lapse action. Um, come back next time. Thank you.